Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Wednesday, January the 9th, 2019, and this is episode 2939. My name is Bruce Turner. Glad to have you with us for today's Morning Manna. Today's episode is titled, He's All That. Stay tuned. You know, it is said, in order to believe in somebody, to trust in somebody, you've got to know who they're really like. And, you know, God gets a, a bad rap in, uh, in life, in our society, and in our culture today. Uh, many times people see him as the gotcha God, you know, the long white beard with lightning bolts in both hands looking for somebody to zap. But that's not who he is. And that's what I want to talk to you about this morning. And I begin by sharing with you from the book of Exodus, chapter 34, verses 6 through 7. And then I'm going to give you a little bit of the backstory behind this passage. Listen to what it says. The Lord, the Lord God, is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, and abounding in loving kindness and truth maintaining love to thousands, forgiving iniquity, transgression, and sin. Wow. How important is that? How foundational is that to your life and my life today? The Lord The Lord God is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in loving kindness and truth, maintaining love to thousands, forgiving iniquity, transgression and sins. You know, those Israelites, (laughs) when this was written, they should have been consumed with fire. Every last one of them, right? It is of the Lord's mercies that we, you and I are not consumed. With their own eyes, they had just watched the Red Sea split in two. They'd seen God gloriously save them from the Egyptian army in the greatest act of deliverance history had ever seen. Moses, the man of God, leaves them and goes up onto Mount Sinai to receive the Ten Commandments. And while he was gone, just for a little while, The people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play. They forsook the God who saved them and began to worship a golden calf. God should have destroyed the people for their iniquity, but he did not. Two reasons. One, because of who he is. And number two, because Moses interceded. And because Moses interceded and was willing even to take their own, their, all their punishment on himself. God was gracious to them and treated them much better than they deserved. When all of the dust from that incident had settled, Moses stands before God again and he makes this request in chapter 33, verse 18. He said, I pray you show me your glory. God said that he would pass before him, but that no man could see his face and live. So he put him between a cleft in the rock and from there he could see his back. And then as chapter 34 begins, we read those verses. Let me just read it again. The Lord, the Lord God is compassionate, gracious, slow to anger, abounding in loving kindness and truth, maintaining love to thousands, forgiving iniquity, transgression, and sin. You need to read this verse a few times today. May I encourage and challenge you to memorize this verse? Write it out on a three by five card. You can memorize this verse before the day is over and it can become such a solid root of truth in your life. Be encouraged today. 
because that's who he is. He is all that and a whole lot more. Father, thank you for who you are. Thank you, Father, for the fact that in my life I have experienced the truth of this very verse. I love you. Help us to honor you today. Help us not to presume upon your compassion and your grace and your forgiveness, but to, in the power of the Holy Spirit, go forward and live for you and emulate who you are to be like Jesus to the world that we come in contact with today. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our website is morningmanna.com. My email address is bruceturner at gmail.com. You got a prayer request? You got something you want to share? Send me an email. I'll correspond back. Thanks for listening. Thanks for subscribing. And thanks so much for sharing. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy. Choose joy.